Hi everyone. Today we'd like to discuss version 5 of the SFK BMS app. This app includes a completely updated user interface which should make managing the batteries and battery kits a little easier and more intuitive. We've also added some new features that will help managing your battery a much more pleasant experience. We've expanded the multi-view system and how that operation works in terms of viewing multiple battery information at the same time. And we just like to go over a brief overview in this video. So we'll first go ahead and scan for batteries. For this app, you'll need to enable Bluetooth and also small device, small device uh, detection if you're on Android 11 or 12. And once you look over the requirements, you can go ahead and hit OK. And once you do that, it will scan for available or nearby SunFun Kits devices. And this will take about two or three seconds, can take longer. And you should get a list of available devices once that is over. We'll just connect to a battery. This is the 260EX227. Um, sometimes you may get this error. If you connect, if that happens, just hit OK and hit connect again. And some, once you do establish a proper connection, it will show you the battery information. So we've now connected successfully to this battery and we can see uh, what is happening. Um, here on the main tab, home tab, you can see the state of charge, current battery condition, estimated remaining amp hours, cycle count, volts, amps, watts, then the temperature of the BMS in case. We've also added any sort of alarms or conditions. This shows up beneath the volts, amps, watts, BMS, and case temp area. So if you have cell under voltage or battery pack under voltage, it will show up in the alarm area. Now, you can get details of your battery by going to the details tab, and this is going to show you uh, individual cell voltages, what sort of amps you're drawing, or what the voltage of the battery is and the cells, um, as well as just the basic temperature, such as the BMS and the case. Um, the tools are options that you can enable for your battery. For the most part, you're probably not going to have to uh, set anything in tools as the factory defaults work fairly well. But in case you needed to make some particular settings, you can. Like you can set up a nickname for your battery. If you've got a couple of batteries and you don't like the factory name, you can set up a nickname. It will show up. Uh, calibrate temperature if your temperature readings are not coming up correctly. Uh, options such as enabling low temperature discharging and in this case low temperature heating because the 260EX is a self-heating battery. You also have other settings like your SOC uh, system if it's normal serve storage or service <clears throat> and just basic other options that you can sort of use to uh, manage your battery. Version 5 also includes a battery benchmarking system <clears throat> where if you wanted to get the capacity of your battery, you can charge up your battery all the way, apply a load to it, the system will log your information, and then you can submit this to view the results on the SunFun Kits website. So now let's actually go back and show multi-view and how that system works. So again, we're going to do a scan, and this time we're going to connect to up to four different batteries. Um, the current version of the app in five, you're able to connect to up to five, I'm sorry, up to four different SFK devices. And in the future with version six, we'll allow you to connect up to 16 by a hard link. So I'm just going to go and select a couple of batteries and connect to them. And we'll just sort of see how that view works. So we've connected four, selected four, and now we're going to hit connect. Um, you're going to see that we're connecting to four different batteries. And some things to note, individual settings are not available when connected to multiple batteries. So that is one thing that is different. When you set multiple batteries, it's going to ask you how you have your battery set up. In this case, we're going to say four in parallel, such as a big 12 volt bank hit submit and once there it is going to show us a slightly different view 
and we can get the total information. So here we can see we have four batteries, uh, very similar information to the single view. Uh, you notice we have like a C and D, and when it's in green, charging is enabled and discharging is enabled. If any of them is red, that particular functionality is disabled. We also have a mini view of the warnings, a mini SOC gauge, and just basic information. Um, at the bottom, we can see the total SOC. Uh, since these batteries are sort of at different SOC ranges, it's not giving us the most accurate information, but um, that is something that, you know, once you have them all charged up parallel, you can sort of see how that works. We then have the details tab, which very similar to the single view, you can view up to four batteries at the same time. If you wanna see the battery voltages in a combined sort of graph, you can see here all four batteries in a combined view to see what the cell voltages are. And normally when you have them all uh, balanced out or a poor parallel charge, you'll be able to see all uh, cells simultaneously. Now, some other things in the multi-view that are exclusive to the multi-view, you'll notice that some of our uh, tabs uh, options are different. And this is because these uh, options are basically meant to be using the battery as a combined battery. One of the cool features we have in the app is we can set up a virtual name for the battery. Like we could call it uh, big 12V, okay, big 12V. We can also have it set to auto connect. I'm, I'm not going to auto connect it because I'd like to manually connect to it. So I'll go ahead and hit update. And once done, it's saying new virtual battery corrected successfully. And then from here, I can connect to it. And if I want to, I can put auto connect enabled. And then when I launch the app, it will automatically connect to that battery. But the other things that you can do in the multi-view for a virtual battery, like you can actually limit the SOC. So for example, if I set it to 95, what it will do is if any cell or any battery pack reaches 95, it will disable charging for that battery pack. And the same thing for minimum, let's say I say 20, if I hit update, then any pack, battery pack in my virtual battery, if it reaches 20, it will disable discharging for that. So it won't let the battery SOC go below 20. Now, I'm not going to change them uh, because the default from what our needs are, are fine. And that basically means it doesn't work. It's not really necessarily doing anything. So what does that do? So now that we have saved the virtual battery as Big 12, if we go back, it's gonna let ask us, do we agree to disconnect? We'll say okay. And if we then go to the scan tab, um, you will notice that we have more than one view. So what that basically means is that not only can we connect to individual batteries, but if we want to connect to our virtual battery, which was the connection of four of our batteries, and we've told the system that it is meant to be in parallel, if I hit connect, I can now connect to this battery, which is essentially a combined connection between four separate batteries. And when I am in my view, I can see all four batteries. So. What this will allow you to do is if you've got a big bank, whether it be uh, wired up in series or parallel, or parallel in series, such as a 24 volt uh, dual pack, you can then connect and view all the, all the information simultaneously. So that's a little bit of an overview of the version five. We'll be adding more features to it as it goes. Uh, it's being released on Android first and iOS is probably a week or so behind. And as soon as it passes the Apple approval, you should see it. Uh, the next major update that we'll do for version five will probably be our inverter integration, our wireless to CAN bus or wireless to RS-485. So just check back with us to see when that's gonna be available. Uh, but 
as the rest. Just download it, try it out. If you have any questions, please email us. Um, I think you're going to enjoy it. It's uh, it's going to make managing batteries a little easier. And uh, we'll look forward to your feedback and uh, you know see what we can do to incorporate that into our next version. Uh, so that's going to be it for us. Uh, thank you again, and thanks for choosing Sun Fun Kids.